Have you noticed how average and purposeless your classmates are? Take a look around you. You will see doom scrolling, sleep deprivation, and depression. This is the cycle of the average student. They wake up just before school begins. They sleep during their classes. They eat McDonald's at lunch. They go home, they procrastinate. And when it's time to work, they stay up all night, pulling an absolutely unnecessary all-nighter and sleeping at 3 a.m. You want that to be you? Of course not. You clicked on this video. And I am the same. I've always rejected this degenerate way of living. At lunch, while my peers are complaining about their grades, I'm studying. At home, while others are doom scrolling, I am working. And at night, while others are finally working, I'm sleeping. If you clicked on this video, then you probably don't want to settle for average. You probably want to be more than average. You probably want to be in the top 1% of students that the 99% of students aren't in. So in this video, I'm not only going to be showing you how to not be the average student, but three facts that contribute to the average student's life cycle. The first limiting factor of the average student is excessive screen time. A recent report reported that the average adolescent and teenager spends over eight hours a day on social media. This is absolutely insane and a ridiculous amount of time to be on your phone for. It's no surprise that social media is extremely harmful and damaging to modern society. But back to the point, eight hours is just so much time, so much time wasted on your phone. The average student wastes all their time on their phone doing absolutely nothing and yet they say they have no time. The average student could be socializing, studying, working out, but no, instead they choose to doom scroll and they waste away on Instagram and TikTok. So now the second factor is procrastination. Procrastination is basically doing your work last minute. So for the average student, let's say they have a science exam the next day. Instead of studying, they scroll for hours and hours. And until it's later that day, they realize, oh shoot, I have to study. And so they study and study and study and study, but it's already been too late and it's 3 a.m. The average student only gets about six hours of sleep every single night, mainly due to time management and procrastination. To get ahead of 99% of students, you must learn how to schedule and optimize your days. In order to avoid procrastination, you must schedule out when you're going to work, how long you're going to work for, and when you're going to take your breaks, and etc. and what you're going to do on a specific days. You must learn to do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. If you want to get eight hours of sleep versus the six hours of sleep the average student gets. And the last limiting factor of the average student is purposelessness. See, many teenagers don't know what to do with their lives. Many teenagers have no passion, no goals, no aspirations, no ambitions. As children, we have a fire lit inside of us. However, we lose that in adolescence. See, a life without purpose is like a ship without a compass, drifting aimlessly in the sea of existence. If you have no purpose or direction, you'll be like a ship without a compass. You won't know where to put your energy towards. You won't know what to work on. And thus, you will spend hours scrolling and scrolling because you have no purpose, you have no energy, you have nowhere to put your life's ambitions and goals towards. So thus, you will end up like the average student because the average student is purposeless. Simply by learning about these three factors, you're already ahead of 90% of your students and peers. However, in order to get ahead of 99%, of your classmates, it is time to learn about the four step formula I subconsciously used on my own in order to get ahead of all my classmates. The first out of the four steps in order to get ahead of 99% of students is to limit social media usage. As mentioned before, we spend over eight hours a day on our phones, which is really ridiculous, not because it's bad for our eyes, but because that time can be spent doing other things. Even if you cut down the social media usage by only a few hours, you get so much more time, so much more time, so many more opportunities to do so many more things. Time is our most valuable asset, yet we tend to waste it, spend it rather than invest it, says Jim John. To be productive, we must learn how to utilize and invest our time properly. And thus, the best thing and the best way to do this is to limit social media usage and to limit distractions. 
Now, the second step in order to get ahead of 99% of students is developing discipline. Motivation is when you feel like doing the work. However, motivation isn't always there and we always don't feel motivated to do anything. What separates that 99% with the 1% of the world is discipline, where people are able to do the hard work, especially when they don't feel like it. This simple ability is what separates the average students, the 99% of the average students with the top 1%. And discipline is by far the most important life skill ever to learn because even millionaires, even top athletes, most of the days, they don't feel like doing anything. They feel sluggish and they feel the same as us. However, what differentiates them from us is their ability to do the hard work in those moments when they don't want to. This creates consistency, which is very important when you're trying to achieve a big goal this skill takes time and patience so don't expect to develop it right away be patient and in those moments when you feel tired don't be like the average student do the hard work when you don't feel like it and finally the fourth out of the four steps by far the most important step ever is to find a purpose a goal a drive an aspiration and an ambition to focus your energy towards the average student has no passion no drive no ambitions no aspirations no inspirations no anything really they are purposeless and once again a life without purpose is like a ship without a compass drifting aimlessly in the sea of existence once you have given yourself more time learned how to use this time more effectively and develop discipline to do the hard work in those times when you don't want to it is important to find something where you focus that time and energy towards for me when i was fat and overweight i channeled my time and energy towards physical fitness every pound loss was motivation for me to keep going that drive that ambition to lose weight to look better to get stronger physical fitness truly really changed my life forever not because of the health side of things but because i finally had purpose i finally had a focus and an aspiration and an ambition in my life at the end of the day how to get ahead of 99% of students boils down to just investing your time towards something meaningful. Of course, self-improvement and self-development isn't just about other people, isn't just about getting ahead of your classmates. There's so much more to being a better person and improving your life. So I highly recommend you watch my other self-improvement videos. Be more than the average student. And thank you for your time once again. See y'all later.